Welcome back in one of the Bear Fuckle Plays YouTube channel. Today is Friday, November 29th. Hopefully everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I hopefully had a lot of family and friends around, a lot of food, a lot of hot rolls, a lot of turkey, a lot of stuff, and a lot of gravy. We are going to be looking at one game for Friday. There are some, a lot of, not a lot of games, but there are some games on that I thought about breaking down, but none of them really sparked my interest. This is a game you're going to be able to watch. Everything else is basically on ESPN+. Plus, But this one will be uh, on cable. Pittsburgh going up against Ohio State. Should be a fun matchup. Have talked about both these teams before. But before we get into it, let's take a look at the Thanksgiving Day plays. We had Illinois minus 2.5. Arkansas stinks. Illinois dominates that game. They were up by double-digit points basically the entire game. This one hurt. BYU minus 3.5, up by 10 early. Down by five, middle of the game, up by six, late in the game with a couple minutes left. Ole Miss forces overtime. Ole Miss dominates in overtime. So BYU did not cash. I will need a couple assists for these. I did not bet them. I'm assuming they went one and one. Uh, I'm going to put it on the leaderboard tomorrow, one and one, unless somebody comments down below. Will Riley obviously did not cash. Did not see an option to bet him. I went in the morning. Took Illinois and BYU. Player props did not come out probably until right before the game, but they were not out 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. I was with family all day. I just, just slipped my mind. The game started at 2.30 and just didn't be, get, didn't get him in. So I'm assuming Will Riley came out at like 13 and a half. That one most likely did not cash. Uh, this one probably did cash. Cannon Catchings, he was outstanding from deep, just like we thought he was going to be. I think he scored 15 or 18 points. That one should have cashed. So we're going to take the one-on-one -on -one day on the player props unless somebody gives me an assist in the comment section. But we're going to move on to Friday. And today felt like Sunday, and so this feels like Monday. But I'm luckily it's a Friday. Everybody should hopefully have this day off unless your boss is an absolute jackass and didn't give you the day off for Thanksgiving. Or you just called in and be like, hey, I need I need this day off. I can't – on a full belly, I'm not coming in Friday. Can't do it. Pittsburgh going up against Ohio State. Extremely high on Ohio State this season. I've said it multiple times. Jake Diebler, love the guy. He got his chance last season. He did not disappoint. He was very competitive with Ohio State last year in the back half of the season. I think they're going to be very competitive once again this year. This is one of the toughest teams in the conference. I'm going to say that early and often. Ohio State, they don't have a ton of scoring, but they do play intense defense. One of the better defensive units in the country. I think they will be one of the best defense units in their conference. And I love the head coach. I've said this many times about Diebler. He's a no-nonsense guy. If you're not playing defense, your ass is not on the court. So I'm going to talk about that as my player prop as well in a little bit for the guy that maybe might not be on the court enough because of the defense. But they're most likely going to be the favorite in this game. Uh, I'm seeing on ESPN they are going to be the favorite. There's 6% chance to win. Probably a spread in the single digits. Ohio State has been tested. They've played Texas A&M. They had one of the worst shooting performances I've ever seen in my life. Texas A&M had 22 or 23 turkeys, which means I believe it's called a turkey. I don't want to get it wrong. But I think what Texas A&M does is that if there is a defensive possession with no shot and a turnover, that's considered a turkey for Texas A&M. I think that's what it is. But that was a really bad performance from Ohio State and uh, maybe the worst performance I've seen other than Creighton this year going up against San Diego State. But Ohio State had nine points in, I think, the first 12 minutes of that game. They lost by 14 going up against A&M. After that game, Ohio State's played some bad teams. They scored 104 points. And 102 points, though, in those two games. And they've given up no more than 69 points in any of those games as well. They have built back their confidence. They're going to come into this game against Pittsburgh, and they're going to give them a really good test. Pittsburgh has only lost one game of the season as well. They were tested going up against Wisconsin. Wisconsin, at the start of the season, I believe they weren't projected to be a March Madness team. They are firmly in the bracket now. The Wisconsin has had a really hot start of the season. But if you look at the stats for both these teams, they're pretty similar with the scoring, but Ohio State – does play the better defense. I think that will be the difference. Looking at Pittsburgh, they have Ishmael Leggett. He's a transfer last season from Rhode Island. He scored 16.4 points with Rhode Island. With Pittsburgh, he's scoring 18 points per game, the leading scorer. They also have Jalen Lowe. He was there last season for Pittsburgh. He's improved tremendously in the scoring department. He's just shooting way too low. 38% of his shots are going in. That is not good enough. All the way up and down for Pittsburgh, this team looks pretty balanced. They look like they've got some really good guard play. All three of their starting guards averaging over 10 points per game. And for Ohio State, I've said this many times, Bruce Thornton, he's going to be the leader this season. He's the heart and soul of this team. 15.2 points per game. John Mobley Jr. John Mobley Jr., a freshman. He's picked up the scoring over the last couple of games. He is the guy I'm going to talk about later. 
He's the guy that might have to pick up the defense. Not sure what's going on there. He's averaging 15.2 points per game. Devin Royal, he's been an all-around great player for Ohio State back-to-back years. And just like Pittsburgh, Ohio State has all three of their guards averaging 10 points per game. They're pretty balanced as well. Should be a really fun game to watch. I'm going to take Ohio State against the spread as the play for the only player prop of the day. John Mobley Jr., a freshman for Ohio State, not playing a ton of minutes. But whenever he's on the floor, he's making the most of it. Obviously, Jake Diebler knows what he's doing. I think he's a great head coach. But John is the leading scorer of this team playing 20 minutes per game. Maybe he's trying to teach him the defense. Maybe he's not giving his full effort on the defensive side. And I said this, Diebler's a no-nonsense guy. If you're not playing defense, you're not playing. But you can't overlook the scoring. He's played 20 minutes per game. Like I said, 15.2 points per game. He scored double-digit points in every game so far this season. He has been great from the field. He's making 55% of his shots. He's shooting over 60% from the outside in four of the six games so far. He's coming off the game against Green Bay. He played the most minutes of the season, 25 minutes, scored 14 points, only took eight shots. And another thing that's great about this guy, he typically never misses free throws. He gets to the line a couple times per game. He's made 16 of the 18 so far this season. He's been great at getting to the rim, and I do think he's going to play the most minutes in this game of the season. I think Diva might be trusting him a little bit more with that 25-minute game last week. It will most likely be 10.5 to 12.5 for the player prop. I can also see it a little bit higher because he's coming off a pretty good game. But I'm going to take John Mobley Jr. over his total points as the only play of the day. Let's go take a look at the recap graphic. We're going to be taking Ohio State against the spread going up against Pittsburgh. We have John Mobley Jr. over his total points going up against Pittsburgh as well. Guys, it's going to do everything these basketball picks and props for Friday, November 29th, set of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop like this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching.